you know, it utterly amazes me how there is so much corruption in this country. Not only with the uh, auto industry, not only with the insurance industry, not only with the construction industry, with the contract um, industry, everything is corrupt. It's a very disturbing trend. And I have to say, someone really needs to look at this, or at least identify and call them out on it. And I guess this falls under the category of cloak and dagger. Or should it be, is it legal? Maybe, is it legal? Likely it isn't. We had our roof repaired for park at vending. And the the negligence by the contractor was in excess of thousands of dollars. The ignorance and stupidity is even more disturbing. It seems almost intentional. And it seems that a lot is intentional in this day and age. It's a very corrupt system. So I'm out on the steps and uh, we had our roof repaired for park at vending. In excess of $14,000, they had the stupidity of leaving it exposed to weather for three days. And even their own workers suggested that a tarpaulin be put over top so that no water would penetrate the, the building. Well, guess what? They didn't. So now we have a corrupt insurance company pledging damages in a mere several thousand dollars. Well, with today's pricing, I think it's a little bit uh, arduous, to say the least, that what they're doing is corrupt. And since when does a depre depreciation come into effect when negligence was the uh, occurrence. You know, it would have lead me to believe that, um, first off, the bill never should have been paid. And second, I think we should be taking the contractor to court because of their negligence. And what seems even more disturbing is that these people, and I mean these people, specifically the uh, ones who did the roof, did not show any empathy for what they did. Not one empathy. So this also leads me to believe that uh, it was intentional. So the most disturbing part of, of uh, society today is the intention. And it would appear that intention is, seems to be the norm. But I'm gonna have to reflect back on a way of thinking. When somebody intentionally does something to harm you, then that intention is registered with the karmic um, police. And they're going to be your judge, your jury, and your prosecution. So, we'll look into this. We'll get some legal advice. And uh, we'll see what uh, comes out of it. And it, it's hopeful that we won't be screwed over again. Because uh, there's a lot of people out there who have no intentions of being honest or forthright or 
even transparent and it stems from all of society all based on the uh, fiat currency I would imagine this is up in Canada and I'm ashamed to call myself a Canadian when the corruption is so deep. I'm Dominic Raphael. This is Up in Canada. And this is another edition of Is It Legal?